listen back to one of the videos where I actually was talking about ULES and um, the installation of models through the Town and Country Planning Act, which shouldn't um, which shouldn't get done for criminal damage. And I ended up talking about YouTube claims as well in that video. And listening back to it, it does sound like I've not got I've got a, I have a problem with my vocabulary at the moment. I don't have my full vocabulary available to me. So I can't use really complicated words at the moment. I just can't remember them. So it, it, I, I, I have complicated and intricate understanding and models in my mind. And when I'm talking, I just basically use simple language. So I'm thinking of the thing that's complicated and... I, I expect everyone to know additional information and additional details as I'm using certain words. So when I listen back to it, it sounds like you, you can't really understand what I'm talking about. But when I was saying it, I knew exactly what I was talking about in great detail. This is kind of like the opposite of Russell Brand. Um... Russell Brand uses very, very, very ex heavily extensive and a array, a extremely wide volumes of words and vocabulary, but it doesn't really help because sometimes he's use, his vocabulary is so extensive and rich that many of the words are unnecessary distracting, misleading, or we don't know them. Therefore, it can be a barrage or a salt of words that don't actually mean anything or you don't get the meaning because it's almost like being shot by an Uzi. Um, you know, whereas I am using very blunt and simple words when I know... Um, you know, and they're they're not really um, penetrating through to people. Um, you know that this is the thing. You need to have a um, correct balance of language. Like this is why I like you know Professor Tim Wilson. And to be honest, although very complicated science, biology, chemistry, mathematics work. Um, is attributed to these professors when they write books um, or teach. When they appear on television and radio, they are they do not overcomplicate their language. They they use clarification, but they don't overcomplicate their language. <coughs> you could say that this is how the police are trained to make sure that when the police speak. They're understood and not misunderstood or misconstrued. This is the training of the police. Um, but then you end up getting this culture of police when you can recognise a copper by how he talks. Um, you know, normal people don't talk like that. You see, normal people don't talk like police. Um, this is the thing. It's not how normal people speak, um, which is kind of odd, you know. Um, so. What I wanted to clarify about that video is that I ended up getting onto the subject of YouTube and I was saying a lot of things about, you know, YouTube breaking the law, they're not following the constitution, they're taking people's videos down, seizing their effects, getting us to sign a policy um, and so forth. What I should have said in that video or what I wanted to say I have said it in, an, in in other videos since, though. But I just want to make a video about this now, because Robert F. Kennedy, I heard him talking about, you know, every time I say something, then Robert F. Kennedy's like, ah, oh, well, you know, you know, that was a constitution, then the Fifth Amendment or the Seventh Amendment changed that, and then, this another, then there's another amendment, then they changed that, then there's another amendment, and they changed that. But why... Want to clarify and say I am going to wrestle with this because I know I'm right. It doesn't. I don't think any of those amendments matter when you actually. It's all to do with people actually not knowing what's going on because 
there's a certain process and they're not doing it. And it, it, people don't actually see that it's not even what is clear. What's happening is different to what they're claiming is happening, right? Now, YouTube are a third party, right? They are a, the host, the facilitator. When you upload videos, film, content, we have these other um, parties. YouTube are the third party, but who's the second party? Universal Studios, Warner Brothers, all these movie companies, right? Production companies, film studios, copyright holders, right? Whether it's music, Virgin, um, you know, EMI, all these big, big companies, music, film studio, production, right? Now, YouTube have been given what everyone's calling immunity as a third party. And the reason for that is jeopardy of law because they're, they're such a big company and they're handling so many million case, uh, other people's stuff that they're not holding YouTube responsible for other people's behaviour. So they've got immunity merely on sheer volume. On sheer volume... They're given immunity because otherwise there would be perpetual jeopardy of law. Right? Now, when you get a copyright claim, YouTube are not the claimant. YouTube aren't the claimant. The person who holds the copyright is the claimant. Universal Studios, Warner Brothers, EMI, Virgin. Right, they're the claimant, and it's triggering a legal claim against you. Right now, what YouTube are doing is that YouTube have kind of been given, they've been made to build their business basically to include other people's legal claims, proper real legal claims, civil. Well, it's not criminal. It's well, the copyright usually is brought through civil civil law. The police don't come come after you for copyright unless you're pirating or whatever. Um, if it's just it's it's usually a civil claim, the claimant takes you to court, not the police. Unless you're doing pirating, which is selling it, um, you know. Now. What if if you've got a Warner Brothers film like Batman, right? When you get a copyright claim on YouTube, Warner Brothers are a claimant. They are the claimant through a legal, lawful due process. And YouTube have built into their platform an enforcement. They are using law because someone else is making a legal claim and YouTube are going to remove the video, right? Take the video down on behalf of someone else who, who is a claimant, right? And they will, they're claiming law. Now, if you want to challenge it, you have to, uh, well, if, if they didn't have YouTube, right? If there was no... If YouTube didn't have this immunity and YouTube didn't get involved, right? What the what is the bare bones of the legal process? What is the dynamic? Warner Brothers are a claimant in a legal claim against you, the respondent, and they are going to tell you to take their video down or stop using it, right? Or they're going to follow through with the claim in court to force you, right? Now, YouTube are doing that for them, but you don't go to court. YouTube, YouTube are just doing it, but let's get this clear. Warner Brothers are raising a legal claim, 
and YouTube on behalf of Warner Brothers are seizing the material. There's no court involved. Now, YouTube get you to agree to a policy that you agree that they can do that. If there wasn't a YouTube policy, Warner Brothers would be going into court to get you to take the video down, right? Through an affirmation process, which I was talking about. And there would be enforcement through the courts, right? It would be You get to set your case out thoroughly in a court. Now, what's important when we're not dealing with copyright is this. YouTube have got a policy. It's their policy. It's not the law of America. It's not crime, right? And it's not copyright. And it's not even anything set in law anyway. They have got some rules they made up which aren't the law, right? And this is the very, very key important part, right? If you if you do something that YouTube don't like, they raise a claim against you. They're the claimant. They're the claimant. If they didn't have a big platform with automatic spinning dials and buttons like they're doing with the copyright in enforcement, YouTube would be taking you to court. They're claiming that you broke their policy and they're going to take your things off you and they've got a legal right to do that. They are claiming that and they want to prove that you broke their policy. But instead of going to the court and getting the evidence out and a judge saying, yeah, you broke their policy, they can take your things, what they're doing is they've made themselves a big flying saucer spaceship and they're just taking it from you themselves. And what they're not doing is proving it in a court with a jury. And you can't get all your facts and evidence out in front of a court. In fact, you're, they're not going to court. They're, what they're doing is they're claiming, they are being a claimant against you that you've done something wrong, a civil claim, not a criminal one, and they are not pursuing it. So it, it isn't a claim. And the thing is, if they take your things and you disagree with them, everyone's saying, even Robert F. Kennedy's saying, oh, they can do that. They can do that. They can do that. They can do it. All this immunity nonsense. There is, YouTube have got no immunity at all whatsoever that says they can commit a felony. They can defraud people. They can give false accounts of false statements. There is nothing that um, allows YouTube to commit a felony or give false statements and things like that. And what they're doing is they are making claims against us that they are not pursuing because they don't need to go to the court because they've built themselves a big machine that is um, a juggernaut that just takes your things. And they've literally got shields around it. And there's nothing we can do. Then what, 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 what you would have to do is you would have to then go to court and a civil court and claim against them. But only because you can't get um, your stuff back from their juggernaut. But they, they took your things... Because they claimed that you broke their policy. But they're claiming they're using lawful due process. But they aren't. Because a lawful due process has to be completed. But they don't complete it. Because they don't have to go to court. 
they aren't completing a lawful due process. So there isn't a lawful due process. Because they're a claimant. Now, if you agree to their policy, the policy is under law, federal law. You know, whether or not they need a warrant or not to take your things, but a, a police officer, if he takes your things without a warrant, he's still going to go through a lawful due process. It's a little bit like with the driving fines, basically, when they're just saying, you know, admit that you're guilty, you know, and take the fine, and you would have to go to court to deal. They're like conditional offers. And these this new culture of conditional offers, which is taking over the whole world, that really originated from all these fines, now the corporate industry are using it. And what it does is it just gets you to... It, it's making all these calls all the time. Oh, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, you did that wrong. And it's saying, oh, agree to his rules, agree to his rules. We can t and, and what it's doing is it's like a school bully taking your dinner money off you or taking your things off you when you might not have done anything wrong. And you're meant to... The, the reason we've got lawful due process in courts is so everything get looked at properly and checked to make sure it's true and right. And what's happening with YouTube is they're not doing that. They're saying, we decide, we make all the decisions, but then they're pretending that you can... Like, you know, write something down and appeal it and do something. No, nobody looks at it. No one cares. And they won't even enter a dialogue with you. It's it's a fake that they're trying to make it look like they're giving you a lawful due process within YouTube. That they're, oh, we, we've got our own little lawful due process here. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we have to go to court. But it isn't a lawful due process. You're actually being denied it. And in fact, I would say en masse, it is there to pervert the course of justice. Um, And, and un under the claim that, oh, well, you know, it, it's all about um, jeopardy of law. But we're in jeopardy of law and we don't know what the freaking policy is. When, when we aren't clear on the policy and where they're, they're not clear with us, you know, they say you can't have sexual content, but there's sexual content all over YouTube. They say that, you know, if you talk about this or that, but they're not clear. And that puts us in jeopardy of law. We're in jeopardy of policy and law because they're not being clear about it. And that's millions of people who aren't clear about it. Because YouTube won't be clear. And then they don't want to speak to you directly other than uh, they... All they want to do is send you prefix messages. No one wants to talk to you from eBay. So you're in jeopardy of law then because you can't make a proper legal representation because you can't even engage with them. Um, you're in jeopardy of law. Uh, so... The claimant basically is essentially messing you around. You're, what, what, they're making you agree to a policy, basically, where you're really, sorry, you're, you're a bit, what, what, what they're doing is they're saying that, um, we're, you know, you know, if you do anything that we don't like, uh, we're going to make a claim against you, but we're not going to, uh, do a proper legal, legal, lawful due process claim against you um you know we'll we'll, we'll sort it out uh, without a fair trial without anyone looking at it and without a jury you're signing up to that and that's why i would say it, it's it, it's illegal i think it's against the american constitution robert f kennedy might argue and say well there's other amendments that say you know they can do take things without warrants and this and that bollocks if you're a police officer with a warrant or without a warrant, right, you need to go through a full lawful process unless, and this is even without eBay policy, unless you say, okay, officer, yes, I did it. And then he says, oh, well, you know, just give me 50 quid, 60 quid fine, and uh, we'll forget about it, you know. That is getting you to give information and admit fault. Um, this is the thing we're saying about the police fines, why the police fines are illegal. Um, you know, they're, they're, what they're doing is that, that it's this whole um, 
favors you know oh i'll do you a favor you know um you know you know if you just pay fine we'll have to go to court you know just admit you you know just just you know admit it you know confess confess confessions um and we'll have to go to court i'll do you a favor you know just give me a fine and it'll be sorted out and that that's illegal what YouTube are basically doing is like sign up to this policy, you know, and um, you know, you know, if if you do anything wrong, you know, don't worry, we won't go to court, you know, we'll, we'll you know we'll sort it out. What it basically means, well, we're just going to take videos off you, and you're not going to have a like stand on, you know. This is it. They are the claimant, but what they're doing is they're claiming against you, taking your things, and then they're um, terminating, and that. Uh, and what then it leaves you, someone made a claim, a, a claim against you that you broke their policy. That That is a, lo a lawful process, right? Policy, you know, if you make an agreement, it's all about contracts and agreements, contracts and agreements in business. But the thing is with contracts and agreements in business, right? It's meant to be a process of law. They're creating a policy and you sign up to it. And then if you go to court, then, you know, you, 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 you sign to these certain policies. But the policies have got to comply with the law. The thing is that we, they're claiming you broke their policy, right? This is what I don't like about corporate entities and all these civil claims and, you know, you know sports injuries and all these other things, right? If someone makes a claim against you, right, they aren't going to get any money out of you unless they go to court, right? Therefore, if someone makes against a claim against you, how are they going to get your videos off you? If the videos are the money, if the videos are the cash, right, and you did something wrong and you owe the cash or you owe the videos, then they, they go to court to say they've got the right to take them, right? If you don't agree that they should have them. But they're not doing that. They are making it a legal claim. And the claim is not proved by lawful due process. That claim must be proved, proved beyond reasonable doubt. What they're doing is they're making a claim and they're, they're terminating the claim because they took your videos. Because they muscled them off you. And they're ending it. And they're leaving you in limbo because you don't have your videos because they took them from you. And you can't prove when they're claiming that you broke their policy, then you, you're, you're not having the chance to prove that you're right. Because they don't want to talk to you about it. They won't enter negotiations. Right? And what you have to do is you have to go take them to court. You have to become the claimant. But you've got two claimants. They claimed you broke the policy. This is what Robert F. Kennedy doesn't get. And you might need a, an American tax expert or one of Donald Trump's uh, international tax men or someone who can wire up, you know, Elon Musk's supercomputer with a microchip when there's only one factory in the entire world that can manufacture that type of microchip or a Hadron Collider engineer. This is the thing, right? You don't go into a court, Robert F. Kennedy, over the same facts and circumstances and matter with two claimants. Who's the claimant? Me or YouTube? Over those facts and circumstances. It's like getting a battery and having two positives or two negatives. Who is the claimant? You don't go into a court, right? You can't make a baby with two women. And you can't make a baby with two men, right? Now, we're being shafted by Neil Mohan. Up the wrong hole. Now... You don't go into a court with two claimants. One person claims, the other person is the respondent, right? YouTube are the plaintiff. You broke our policy. I am the respondent. 
Right? Now, if he claims I broke his policy, he is the claimant. And when I can't, then, if I go to court and I claim that I haven't broke the policy over that matter, there's two claimants. It doesn't add up. Now, if that ain't Biden, in one word, I don't know what is. And I don't think Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has figured that equation into it. And that is why it is a perversion of the course of justice. And that is why it is treason en masse to millions of people. And this is the thing with Sergey Brin. They, are, they got into a gang, a cult, a business club, like Mark Zuckerberg, like all these surf companies who sold out to big business, they, they, they're like kids who got touched up by Jimmy Savile or touched up. They, 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 they got touched up by money and big business. Mark Zuckerberg. It's like, basically, it's essentially like this whole... Um, thing with um epstein you know people people got involved with epstein what mark zuckerberg and neil mohan and you know all these big corporate people ebay they all got involved with these big con men big 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 global con men and they had a strategy they were gonna take over the world and they were going to be the bosses in these big corporate companies, and they were going to be exempt from all the courts, and they want to take over the world and not have any legal due process. They don't want to have any rights. They just want to dictate, this is, you know, they want us all to be workers. They want to be able to treat us like their factory staff, even uh, not even have any work. It's a miracle you've still got employment rights. I can't believe there are still even any employment rights, you know? I can't believe Rishi Sunak and his wife haven't banned employment rights so they can just, you know, do what they want to people, you know? It, it, it's a miracle that there are employment rights still. I, I, I don't know if it's possible. What just happened then?